Well, hello, farming friends, and welcome back to another edition of Farming Simulator 2015 with me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose. And today it is time for another map showcase. Today we're looking at Gamsting from Stefan Ellis. Uh, it is a uh, cool little map that I found on Mod Hosters this week and thought I would showcase to you guys. Uh, the Gamstein map is uh, based on an area in the uh, middle of the mountainous region of the Bavarian foothills of the Alps. And according to this, it's almost entirely cut off from its environment. Gamstein is the idyllic valley surrounded by majestic mountain ranges and inhabited by humorous citizens of Gamstings. I'm glad they're humorous, because I'm going to cut through their town and ruin it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, so uh, if we read on, it's one once numerous hermit courtyards with blossoming agriculture, forestry, animal husbandry in the secluded area. Today, bear witness only to lush existing fields, pastures, and cleared forest areas. The only remaining farm northwest of Gamsting now is responsible for the management of the entire valley. No no pressure, right? Uh, this applies to the supply, the management of the village-owned biogas plant, the biomass co-generation plan, and of course its livestock. So yeah, no pressure there. You're only responsible for keeping the power and the heat on for the entire town as well as keeping everybody fed. So yeah, if you fail, everybody dies. Just thought I'd let you know that. Anyways, let's jump on into the map. Enough of reading that stuff. You can check it out if you really want to. It's all cannon fodder. All right, so here we are in the beautiful little town of Gamsting on our farm. And uh, I see a gold coin there. Cha-ching! We're already rich. Good looking textures. Here's our house. Very, uh... Very Alpish. So let's check out the map and see what we're into here. Looks like a pretty small map. 27 fields, it looks like. Uh, varying sizes and shapes. That's cool. Uh, so we're not dealing with just square fields. We've got some rounded edges and uh, some different shapes. That'd be nice. A little character. So we'll go check it out and see what's up. Uh, let's look at uh, the PDA here and see what kind of info we find. Uh, as far as fruit types, it looks like we're just dealing with the standard uh, fare here. Wheat, barley, canola, corn, potatoes, sugar beets. Uh, yeah. I got one cell point here. Biogas, heating plant. Uh, let's see, a second cell point and a third. So at least we got some competition for our grains. Uh, I would like to see an animal lot in here, but that's okay. So we're just dealing with the basics of the game. Uh, no extra add-ons as far as uh, pigs and beef and all that other stuff. So, Alright, let's jump in the store, see what kind of equipment we start off with. Uh, we got the old Dutzfar Agristar. Uh, your T4.75, that's the baby New Holland front loader. And you got some front loader attachments. Let's see, you get the uh, manure fork and the universal bucket. Uh, and then we're going to get the old Sampo for our harvester. And a little Brantner. So it's all just uh, starter equipment for you. All the three meter gear and the side cut mower, which I can't stand. A um, little teeter. And that's about it. All right. Is that a windrow or a teeter? I think that is the uh, teeter. Yeah, that's a teeter. All right. So let's uh, jump in the new hall in here. What do you say? We'll take a look. First thing, uh, by the way, uh, this I love these uh, garages. They really are cool, the way the doors slide like that. Uh, it does use the animated uh, door triggers, so you're going to have to have that on this map. I did see like Chop Straw, a couple of other mods. Didn't see too many mods listed in it, so you're not going to be that heavy on it. Um, it does have the Lime Manure mod. So, uh, yeah, let's jump on in here and uh, fire this bad baby up. I like this little tractor. It is nice uh, for a starter. I'll get rid of the help menu because we don't need it. 
So let's ride around here and just take a look at what is here. Uh, if we come back here, we got our eggs, wood chips, there's a little fertilizer uh, or seed pallet there. And uh, back over here, let's see what we got. Straw cell point. Fertilizer there. Little place to uh, pressure wash. And we even have a pressure washer. Is that a functioning pressure washer? It is. How about that? And you get a pressure washer for free. How about that? Uh, let's see. Potatoes and beets. There's your plow. Thank you for telling me what I already knew. And we'll ride on around our courtyard here. And we'll head on down the road. See what's down here. Little grass area there. And here's our dairy barn for our cattle. I see a slurry. So you get a manure, you get a manure uh, spreader right off the bat, a forage wagon, a slurry tanker. You're set pretty good on it to begin with. Lots of tires for your silage bunker. I wonder what that is. I wonder if that's functionable. Well, I don't know. It does have lime on this map, so you do get lime from somewhere. Alright, so dairy. Oop. Make sure your water pick up. Another gold coin there, and I ran over a pylon. See how many we can take out. Cha-ching! Cha-ching! Uh, what do we got over here? This be sheep? It is. So this is your sheep pen. Another gold coin there. I haven't seen gold coins on a map in a while. So, yeah. Developers got those on here, which means you'll have a way to get some free free grub, some free food, seed or grain or whatever you want to call it. So let's check out this field here. I am curious to see if this is clippable out here. A lot of these aren't. It is. Okay. So is it the it's not the tower that's clippable. He's put a tree in here. Okay, so here's the thing with this. If um, some people like these clippable poles, some people don't. See, I can drive through that one. And I like it when the modder leaves it up to the person uh, as to whether they want it to be clippable or not. Because you, you can either drive it clippable or not if you want to. But if somebody's using like auto combine or course play, they'll have issues with that. But I'll tell you this, what they have done there is stick a tree in the ground to where just the top of the tree is sticking up. If you want to make those where you can drive through them to where there's not uh, the tree in the center of that, all you have to do is go in with a chainsaw, cut the limbs off of it, and then get that uh, that that AWHI forestry uh, uh, forest mower and grind that tree down and that'll be the end of it. You can drive through there with no problems. Just a little tip. Uh, egg cell point right there. Let's see what else is here. Oh, wait a minute. Y'all know what this is right here? It's a cigarette dispenser. Seriously. See, there's Marlboro, Lucky Strike, Paul Mall, and then there's a Red Cross drop off bin, and another coin! Well, yeah. wonder what's over here. Some trees you can cut down. Huh. 
Well, what is... What's this over here? Is this more storage over here, or what? Looks like another vehicle storage area, and another gold coin! They're everywhere! Somebody's got a hole in their pocket. So, another little storage area for equipment. Nice, plenty of storage for you on this map. Good looking map so far. Kind of liking this. Now, even though it doesn't have multi fruit and it doesn't have, uh, you know, like the water mod in it, it's still a good looking map. Uh, some of the textures are a little rough on my video card, but uh, that's okay. As you can see, like, I'm recording this in a higher res. So my, uh, my rendering circle is a little tighter. So this should be the wood cell point, a wool cell point right here. And in fact, it is. Let's see. I think we need to go. Somehow we need to get in that corner back up there. For the biogas plant, since we're responsible for keeping the biogas plant running. I did see a little road right here. Yeah, this is going to be it. So anyways, yeah, if you see a little texture, you know, see how that grass is kind of messed up ahead of me. That's just because it hasn't rendered in. Uh... So we'll head on down here, check out the biogas facility. What were those? I heard bees. Is that like a honey thing? Had to go check that back out. Alright, so here's your gas facility, biogas facility. Uh, looks like you got two bunkers here. Got the old flegal grinders that are above ground. Which is, uh, if you're doing any... Ooh, and there's another gold coin. Look at there. They're everywhere. I wonder what that trough's for. Why would there be, a, like, a water trough at the biogas? Uh, let's see. This is, looks like it is your slurry pit. Ooh. Huh, I bet you can see down in there when it's full of slurry, you can see the slurry. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Gas spigot and another gold coin. Boy, he didn't hide them, did he? Is there another one right there? <laughs> nope, generator. Or pump or something. Anywho, well, gold coins are a plenty on this thing. Not hard to find. So what are these things over here? Uh, they look like mailboxes, but I heard bees. Oh yeah, homemade honey. And the bees are out. I can get back in the tractor. I don't want to get stung. Get out of here. Let's run up. I think if we run up here, we hit a forestry area. So let's go check that out real quick. See what our forestry is like. If it's teeny tiny or if it's ample. It does look sizable. And it looks like there's... Looking at the map, it looks like there was more than one area to do forestry. Which is good. You know, a nice balance is what we're looking for. Here's like a little landing area. Very cool. Very nice that he does this. Oh look, he even puts a little rack for logs. <laughs> nice. Though I don't really ever use them. That's still cool that he added them in. Let's see. A little road right here. Should bring us back out to the main road. And 
see where we want to go. I think I want to head back up by the wolves so we can get over to that Gartnery. That sort of seems like Garden Center. Though I don't know that that's actually what that is, but let's head this way. And, uh, I know this, we've already been this way, but there was more past the wool. I just got turned around because I wanted to go see the biogas. Little bus stops there. But I thought this place was cut off from the rest of the world. Why would you have a bus stop? Hmm. Because it said nearly cut off. Alright. I think I recognize this road from Euro Truck. So, some little grass fields that you can purchase right here. They are kind of small, though. It wouldn't take much to cut them. interesting little sound. If you notice all these trees along the side of the road, they're cuttable. You can use a little processor on them, like if you're into the Ponzi thing. And I see a grass cell, or this is our grain cell point here. Oop. And we have a train. And you know, I can't pass up a train without making it go Bye bye, Mr. Train. Choo choo. Good choo good choo. Alright, so we're running around the garden center here for you. Nice little garden center. Your seed pallet to refill if you're on this end of the, the map. Some fertilizer and lime there for you. Alright, hanging left here. Another road here. Where are we headed to? I like these fields. They're not flat. They kind of have, you know, they're built into the terrain. Some nice rolling hills. You're not going to be uh, doing that square boring farming. There's another one with the telephone poles in them. Of course, those aren't clippable unless there's a tree around it. Yeah, nice scenery. Very cool. Look at that. That little green fill there. Challenge for mowing grass, I'll tell you that much. What do we have here? Just like a little... Looks like another little equipment storage area. A little green field. I wonder what this is over here. Do a little first person driving for you. Some sort of big building here. Let's see what we got here. Nothing on the map. I don't see a cell point here. Looks like just a building for cannon fodder. It's just here. For aesthetics. Anything back here? Nope, nope, nope. Nothing. Well, it gives you a place if you wanted to put like a uh, a droppable cell point, like a placeable cell point, you could do that. It'd give you a little dock that you could put a cell point back there in the back or even in the front. Cool bridge here. The bridge over the Rockies. I don't know if you can get back in there, but look, all those trees are cuttable. If you could get a Ponzi in there somehow. I don't know if you can get equipment back up in there. Maybe you can work your way through there. And cut all that. But those are cuttable trees. Oh, look at a little makeout spot. Another place to get missions. Cool. What's this over here? Sell point for grain. I bet this is our restaurant. The restaurant sell point. What's this? Is that more water? Or is that just a fire hydrant? 
little playground for the kids here at the restaurant. And some more turns. Hello! Oh, how cool. Oh, uh, the sound's not right, though, on it. You should have that little echo in there, you know? And the motor should echo. Still pretty cool. I, I hadn't seen that before on a map. Nice effect. Another little grass field. I don't think I would actually buy these little grass fields. They're tiny. I mean, how much is this grass field? Oh, I might lose my tractor. That's 1500 bucks for that little bitty grass field. Yeah, I don't think so. And this one's how much? 1700 bucks. Yeah, I think I'd just rather plant one of those big fields in grass. That seems like a lot for that little bitty field. Can't be getting too much grass out of it. See, here's another one. All these little bitty grass fields. Are these, these fences aren't. The fences aren't clippable. That's the saving grace. Because you can mow right up on them. Oh, what do we got here? Let's see some little building down there. This is... What is this? Biogas? Bioheating? Bioheating plant. So we got our bioheating plant here. Saw some little building down here. Let's see if we can get down to it. Let's see where this road goes. What is that down there? Oh, very cool. Yeah, this looks like it should be like. Baywa Agra. This must be another cell point. Let's see. Is this is a grain silo? It is grain silo. Some fertilizer there. This is cool. I like this. Looks like lime there. Some seed there. More seed there. Cool. Is there a cell point back here too? Mm. Nope. Just decorations. Alright, cool. Found that tuck way back here. Almost missed that. Oops. I hit another pylon. Yeah, I just like running over them. All right, let's hang out right here and continue on down this road. And oop, some more bungers. We're doing silage, just a single bunker to do silage in. Keep you from having to go to the BGA or back to the farm. That's kind of convenient because you can plant that big field there and corn and grind it up. Hello, look, another train. And this looks like a lumber yard. Where do we get to it? Looks like at the end of the road here. Now we have that nifty little sound on those train tracks. Alrighty, let's run down here and check out the lumber cell point. 
Swing, selling wood. Within this marker, you can load any wood that you have and sell it. Straight and long pieces get more money than bent ones. Yes, I have to send the train off. It makes me happy. Choo choo! Bye bye, Mr. Train. I'm going to race you. I'm going to lose. Alright, let's head up here. Continue on our route. I think we're back where we began. We are. Here's that field that we began at. So that's uh, that's the perimeter of the map. Let's run down here. See what we missed in the middle of the city. Ooh. Gates. I wonder if they're... Nope, oh, they're not. I wonder if they were clippable. We didn't go down this road. We'll head back into the city here. See where this road goes. What's around here. More trees you can cut down. So if you like forestry, there's plenty of trees to cut. Uh, you may not be a dedicated forest area, but you could work these hillsides. Uh, let's see what we got here. Got a little something something here. Uh, this is... Another mill. So, we got some wood chips there. And I guess like a sawmill. Huh. Be interesting to see how that works. So, yeah, a little sawmill, it looks like. So, I guess another lumber cell point. Oh, I ran over some more little white things. And there is uh, field 17, which is the only field that we own so far. Isn't that field 17? Isn't that the number on it? Yeah. Field 17 is the only field you start with. So it's planted in wheat. So you'll be harvesting it and uh, needing to buy a field. We should go look at what a field costs, like that big field right there. See how much it's going to cost you to get started. And then here's the shop. Let's see, what is this guy going to run you? 68000 to buy it. Wow. You'll be working that one wheat field for a little while, aren't you? And then, of course, here is your vehicle shop. Where you can buy and sell new gear. Or sell your previous gear and buy new. All right. I think we have just about covered everything, guys. Pretty good looking map. Uh, I, you know, I like it. Um, it could be a lot of fun to, to do. I got to see if you can get up on here. You can. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, I'm going to fall through it a bit. Anywho, I kind of like it. Um, very good looking map. If you're just looking for the basics, you want to do some forestry... And you want to run the game as far as um, as far as you're you're fine with just doing the basic fruit and no extra like pigs, chicken, beef. Uh, this would be a fun fun map. It's cute, or as far as it's got some character to it, very scenic, and um, would be a challenge definitely with all these little small grass fields. Here's some more forestry for you up here. Overall, though, very nice map. So, it, uh, yeah. Give it a check. Check it out. It's on Mod Hosters. I'll put a link to it uh, down in the, uh, down in the show notes. Some more trees. Like I said, more trees you can cut. Oh, another little path here. Oh, look, there's the choo-choo. Coming back. I like all the little detail with these little things like that. Here's some more trees over here that can be cut. So yeah. Lots of forestry options for you if you like forestry. And then plenty of agriculture. So this is a very well-rounded map. 
I think you can have a lot of fun on it. So check it out. Uh, again, I'll put the link in the show notes. And um, let me know what you think about it. All right. Uh, again, uh, thanks for watching, as always. Uh, appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and like the video. It's called Gamsing, or Gamsting, excuse me, Gamsting. Uh, and uh, it's available on Mod Hosters and many other websites as well. Uh, the link will be in the show notes. Check it out, download it, and give it a shot. All right? Thanks again for watching, guys and gals. Another video will be out tomorrow. And until then, stay safe, have a great day, and I will see you then. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks again for watching this video. And if you made it all the way to the end, well, maybe you liked it. So give me a big old thumbs up. That like goes a long way. Also, subscribe to this channel. I will update the videos every single day so there will always be something new for you to see. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come back again tomorrow. Thanks for your support.